Hello. So today I will show you how to upload, you know, multiple files to S3 bucket, AWS S3 bucket. Now I created a folder. I hope you can create it. Means this is test dash JBS one. Any name you can keep. Now, what is our objective? The our objective is to upload here multiple files. Now, in three different ways, you can upload multiple files to AWS uh, S3 bucket. Number one is you can use uh, multi-processing. Number one. Number two, you can use multi-trading. And number three is you can zip all files, then upload it to the S3 bucket and use AWS Lambda to unzip it, okay? So when you are doing it, so you have to be careful that is you use it as per your requirement because time is precious. And uh, even if your uh, files are too big, you can do it. I hope there will be no problem. Now, let me show you the code. See, I hope I shared it with you. Let me check. Yes. Now the thing is, if you if you check this code, what I'm doing, I'm just mentioning the path. Means the the location of the file that uh, that you are going to upload to AWS S3. Now what is required? That is AWS means access key ID and. AWS uh, secret access uh, key. So if you want to do it, uh, what do you need to do? See, uh, here in the search, you just type IAM. If you press enter, it will go to this access key, just click it and download it as an Excel file. Okay, and from this Excel file, you can get all the relevant information for this one. Now, one of the beautiful thing is uh, of the Boto, this is the, you know, the library. And uh, one thing I will again say, because there is no confusion between this library and the packages, you know, the, the technically, technically both of them are the same. There is no difference. So from Boto.s3, that is the bucket dot connections, import S3 connection. Because in uh, Python, everything is, everything is in the form of, you know, a class. So this is this particular method, uh, it means you are calling. Then what you need to do this from multiprocessing.pool, you are creating this pool of multiprocessor, import thread pool. Now, this is very, very important. See, what I'm doing that is import OS operating system dot change directory says DIA. And then I'm passing the path. The path means the location of the files, means where you are keeping all the files. So you are changing the directory. Now, what is the advantage of this one? So if you don't use this line in your code, then all the files will be uploaded, but they will be, you know, in multiples or within multiple folders. So the Outer folders will be deep learning code. Within it, you will get another a folder that is AWS file name. Within it, you will get another folder data. And within this data folder, you will get, you know, the multiple uh, files. When it is not desired, so what you need to do, that is use operating system OS dot CHDIR, then you pass the parameter path, so it will work. Now this, this, this one line is also important when you are zipping, you know, multiple files. Say this is if it is the locations of the uh, path, then the location of the files that you that you are going to zip. So in that case, if you don't mention this, so it will be zip, but you know the the zip uh, file will contains multiple folders. The outer one is this deep learning code, then AWS file name, then data. So it is not desired. So that's why you need to change the directory. So next, what I'm doing, I'm creating a list that is name of the list is a path. It's an empty list. And after that, what I'm doing, that is I'm using this for files in os.work. You're passing this uh, path. Then I'm using another for loop that is for FID, that is file ID. 
in range length files then the two because the os.walk path it will return the files the files is basically a tuple the first element of the tuple is this this the location of the all the files that is e colon deep learning code aws file name data this is the first element and the second element is an empty list and the third element you know it's basically a list it contains all the files that you are going to uh, you know find out from a particular directory so that's why i'm taking that is range length files and i'm giving this index to then what i'm doing that is path files to okay in the list then you are giving this index of this list that is fid then what are you are doing you are basically appending it that is path dot append you are passing this path now what you will do you can create an object con from s3 connection you can pass this aws access key id and aws uh, that is called the secret access key okay and with this you can create this object con now what i'm doing next i'm defining a function name of the function is upload i am passing the name of the file my file and i'm creating a bucket using this con object so con dot get bucket now you need to pass here that is the name of the s3 bucket in our case in our example i'm just giving a test uh, you know that's jbs1 so key is bucket then you give this new key what is this new key that is the name of the file that is my file and then you need to give the set contains from stream and here i'm passing a stream now what is this concept of this one when you are uploading this file to the bucket i mean this s3 bucket you need to give a specifier that is the key and the corresponding a text so that you know from this key you can extract the value what i'm saying say if it is a key name is my file and what value it is containing so this value you want to access with a simple string some content okay the next line is you you need to return this my file and what you are doing next i am creating a thread pool now here i have given this is basically a hard coding that is the processes is equal to 2 i am considering only two processes the best one would be you know you can you can use a ps util and you can uh, find out the number of processor of the system then you do the max count this max count means the max zero number of processors minus 1 don't take all the processors of the system so thread pool instantiate with this number of processors so pool then you map it pool dot map and you need to pass the name of the function that is upload and here you need to pass the iterator iterator is nothing but the f path this f path contains all the name of the files okay now what i need to do i want to show you i need to show you the files that I'm going to upload to S3 bucket. See, I hope the code will work. Okay. Let me share the screen with you so that you will get the idea. Okay, so what I will do, I will, I uh, mean, I'm sharing the screen. I hope it has been shared and accepted. Yes, cool. See, these are all the files I'm going to upload. Okay. See, these are the CSV file. I'm mainly testing with the CSV file. You can you test it with this text file and all the stuff you can do. Now, let us come to the score. Now, if don't use you know why i'm using this uh, suggesting you to use this multi processing or the multi threading don't use a single thread or this main thread you know in that case what will happen you know uh, 
you don't know which file will be uploaded to this S3 bucket. In, in several, uh, when several peoples are facing this problem. So that's why I think it would be uh, nice to discuss uh, on a YouTube channel. So this is the code. Now what I will do, I will run it. Let's see what is this output. See, it is over. Now, let me open, let me rephrase this one. Here you can check, this is the magic, see all the, you know, CSV files. These are the CSV files. So you can check it, you can check a num, you can check a name that is C10, underscore 200.csv and here you can get this one c 10200 csv Now, what type of uh, file cities means, uh, let, let me tell you clearly, it is not, uh, you know, it, 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 all these files you can download uh, from this internet. It is basically uh, vehicle uh, root uh, optimizations problems. That is C10 underscore 200. This is the name given by the Solomon benchmark problem. So, if you want to check this content of the data, let me clear because let me show you because this is also important. Let me share the screen also with you so that you can check the data. See, this is uh, the Excel file. On the top, you are getting the customer number, X code, X coordinate, Y coordinate, uh, demand, ready, uh, due date, service time, etc. And uh, if I see on the top, that is C10 underscore 200. Okay, so these are, these are the, you know, the, the data are available on the internet. These are the benchmarking problems for the Solomon data set. Solomon data sets means those who are working on this vehicle route optimizations problem, they know it better than me. So you can use it and uh, that's all. Uh, and this, uh, one thing I should say that is some people, you know, those who are working in this industry, they have been facing the problem. Some of them are struggling a lot to upload the CSV files and, uh, you know, some of them are spending a lot, uh, means a lot of times, it hit happen. It's it's not a big issue. That is usually, you know, uh, we face this type of problem. You know, the to solve simple problem. In some cases, we are stuck. We takes uh, we take a lot of time to solve. So that's why I'm extending my support. So just uh, share your comments if you are getting any kind of support from my code. And let me share this code for this last time. So only one request to you. This is my practical experience. It is don't use a simple thread, that is the main thread to upload multiple files. So the three methods you can use, that is number one, multiple processing, number two, multi-threading, and number three, AWS Lambda. Means in that case, what you need to do, you need to zip all files, upload it to this S3 bucket, then use the Lambda functions to unzip it automatically. So in this uh, next uh, part, uh, I, if I get this time, I will definitely show it to you. Thank you very much.